Hola Pisces, Sun, Taurus, Moons, welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you view it, it is what you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments. While you're waiting for yours to get done, go check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings that are in the comments. I mean, in my playlist, sorry. First portion of this reading, we'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll look at your 2020. Then the second portion will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I'll have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. So let's get to the traits of your sun moon combination. So Pisces, sun, Taurus, moons, you all are not one to be used by other people. You need to use your sensibility when it, or you do use your sensibility when it comes to your visions, when it comes to your creative dreams. You're very visually resourceful and you can put this into creative ways. Okay, so you can use this in creative ways. A lot of you all have known to be musicians, artists, writers, um, anything kind of in the creative field. Even It could even lend itself a little bit to theater. Um, I just got stage crew for some of you actually, which is kind of weird, that came out of nowhere. You do have an inner peacefulness and a very tranquil mind. And a lot of times this con convinces people and people are drawn to you. You're very thoughtful, responsive, um, but you're also very, you have a lot of will, you're very firm, and you have a lot of common sense, okay? You're willing to help anybody just like any other Pisces would, but the difference between you and your typical Piscean is that you value yourself and you know when to draw the line and you know when to say no. Um, you're determined and when you go about things, you go through it with total devotion, you're totally dedicated to it. Um, be careful of the career choice you make you need to pick something that's challenging because easy easy paths in life, uh, you're kind of attracted to that. So you wanna make sure because you have that leisure oriented aspect to you, you go after something that's challenging, push yourself, push your accomplishments. You have good health and stability. Uh, people frequently turn to you for counsel and advice because you're very good at that. You have this uh, wonderful radiant inner confidence that people are drawn to. But the only problem is sometimes you hold on to your own viewpoints a little too strongly. You seem to be eccentric at times, but um, and like a little far out there and you know really imaginative and what have you. But deep down, you're really a conservative type of person. You might try to curb some of your prejudices, um, lighten up on some of those beliefs you have, be a, more, a little more tolerant of other people and their views. Be careful of suppressing your feelings. Try to express true feelings. It's not always good to suppress them as you often do. Um, I was gonna say, no, I, I, I wasn't feeling that, so I'm not going to say that. Sometimes your emotions can get out of control because sen sentimentality usually rules you. Um, and sometimes this can make you, uh, this can skew your perspective uh, when you usually have really good judgment. Sometimes you guys are so sentimental, you live in the past. So in 2020, try to live more in the present and not kind of reflect so much on the memories and this and that. Um, I mean, it's fine to do that, just don't get stuck there, okay? So, Holy Spirit, Angels, of Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight, for Pisces, Sun, Taurus, Moons, for the year 2020, what do you see, what do they need to know, any messages that you have for them to help them reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine, for 2020, it would be greatly appreciated again. Pisces, Sun, Taurus, Moons, the year 2020, and keep in mind with these readings, hope for the best, plan for the worst, exercise your free will. So, if you're getting ready to post up negative comments, keep that in mind. Okay, this is just to let you know what to look out for in 2020 so you can prepare a little toolbox should you encounter it. We have the Three of Wands in reverse for January, February, March. Also, if this resonates, consider a personal reading. My info is in the box below. Just send me an email and I will send you all the information about that. April, May, June, we have the Nine of Swords in the reversed. July, August, September for Pisces, Sun, Taurus, Moons. Ask me a question on InstaGo. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Please. Okay, Page of Pentacles in reversed. And then if you could like, share, subscribe, and or donate in the link below. Always appreciate it. Okay, Six of Pentacles in reversed. Um, this is going to be a tough year, so... 
the, the comments on some of these have been rough. I It is what it is. If you don't like it and you want something cheery, then go someplace else. Um, although I'm the only one that does sun mood readings, but I'm just saying. So again, just use this as a like a indication, a little tap on your shoulder of what could happen or is most likely to happen in 2020. So you can, when you start coming upon it, you can kind of prepare for it, okay? April, May, I mean, January, February, March, we have the three of wands in the upright. So during this period of time, a lot of opportunities are not coming to you. You see them out there, you want them, they're all, they're out of your reach. Um, a lot of setbacks, a lot of delays. Some of it could be due to communication problems. Some of it could be due to distance, okay? Um, some of it could be because you didn't, you, you didn't um, see something that you should have seen. Some of you didn't, you know, maybe, um, I often say worked worked harder instead of smarter. So some of you put efforts into a, an area maybe you shouldn't have been so focused on putting efforts, but these opportunities are what you want or um, you know whatever these things are, these options you have, they seem to be get further away from you in January, February, March. Now, in April, May, June, I see you coming out of this, but mentally coming out of this. Um, I don't feel like physically you come out of this. So I, I think you, you have a realization during this period of time that a lot of what you're experiencing is because of what's going on in your mind. Um, for, for instance, you know, we talked about not being, you know, open to other people's opinions or um, what other people have to say. And you might be having this real, realization in April, May, June that this is kind of what's holding you back or that fears are holding you back because the Nine of Swords is very fear-based to me and not the actual situation. And but it shows you like mentally coming out of this, um, you know, mentally realizing this and slowly trying to get out of what's going on in January, February, March. We come upon July, August, September, and I don't feel like this comes full circle coming out of this because this is a continuation of having your goals blocked, and it might be blocked because again. Maybe there are some parts of you that are focusing on uh, short-term material gains, okay? The Page of Pentacles is about um, extravagance or focusing on the material stuff or just focusing on um, instant gratification, what you want now instead of long-term. And this is what could actually be holding you back. Um, because if you do try to start like a new job or a business or um, go back to school or anything like that, I feel like it, it's it's not going to work out and it might not work out for these reasons because you're focusing on short term instead of long term, okay? And that's usually financially, um, you know, wanting the money before you're actually getting it and having too much of a focus on that. Um, and I believe that to be so because in, um, I'm sorry, in October, November, December, we have the Six of Pentacles here. So either uh, you need to get a loan in order to move through with this, or you, you, you can't seem to, um, someone gave you money and then you don't get to keep the money. Um, some of you could be having uh, problems financially, either with debt um, or what have you. So I, all over for 2020, I would start thinking about different ways to think about your goals and um, make sure they're not coming from a place of ego or greed or anything like that. Um, think a little broader. Um, and, and then I think that, that things will come to you more readily. So if this resonates, consider a personal reading and or click, and click on the Vimeo link below. Um, that's where I'm going next. I'm going to be pulling clarifiers on this. We'll go into this a little bit deeper. Check out your 2019 Sun Moon ratings. Uh, ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, I'll see you in Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.